I personally think that I was in the right. I fully deserved that apology. I I just like to point out that it's not my toxic fan base that's going after her, telling her to end herself. It's the trolls from my channel. Hello everyone, Flo here and welcome back to another video. Now this video will contain some sensitive topics as shown on the screen, so be warned. Thank you! In this video, we will be talking about the situation between Rix and Kimiko. And the situation escalated to the point that even Devil Bona had to mention it. So what happened? Alright, so Rix, you've probably heard of them. They have recently been harassed by grown men who had nothing to do with their lives. And Rix overcame them, and that's a good thing. And then they started posting more and more events, which was worrying. And then Rix accused multiple people of copying their vents, which is even more worrying. And those people, they weren't censored, which led to a wave of people attacking the people who supposedly copied Rix's vents. And I believe that this is the easiest mistake to do as a content creator. What I'm saying is, if you have a situation where someone is heavily inspired, copied your work, or plagiarize your work by tracing or any similar situation that puts you and another person to a sort of conflict, at least do try to reach out to them. I'm pretty sure that one of the parties had Discord or Instagram, and if they do not have a social platform, which can happen, at least mention in the comment section like, yeah, um, your work is similar of mine, and I posted it mine earlier, so if we could have a conversation about it, that could be great. At least give them some time, like wait a day or two. And if during that spawn of time, nothing happens, no reaction, you can publicly talk about it. But at least censor the user. If it's someone re-uploading your videos without any sort of care, you can of course link the account and say, this person is re-uploading my videos without my consent, please report. But if it's something that you are not sure of, so someone being supposedly copied your work without knowing who you were, or like someone having a similar art piece but it's not traced, at least do try the conversation first before mentioning it online. Rix didn't do that. Rix made multiple videos about people supposedly copying their vents and that led to those people finding those specific users and attacking them to the point of even receiving death threats and that's just wrong now i got reached out but to involve people who have nothing to do with it or it's not their jobs to actually cover such topics such as bona i don't think bona has to do with any of this and i'm pretty sure she has other troubles to deal with so in my opinion, things could have been handled out privately, or at least in the comment section, but to make videos about it is a serious mistake to not reproduce. And I hope that Rix learned their lesson since then. That will be all for this video, I hope that you learned something, and please do avoid made the mistake I talked about in this video, this will be hugely helpful for you. I personally had to learn it the hard way and I do not want people to struggle the same way I did. That will be all for this video. I wish you all a good day or a good night. Bye everyone! Okay, I fully agree with everyone that this situation has gone too far. Yes, I could have easily solved this over messaging her on Discord. But I was extremely hurt that someone had copied not one but two of my personal events. And I just found it extremely disrespectful. So I thought the best way to call her out would be to make a video. Obviously that didn't help anything. And now Kimiko's getting death threats and other sick threats.
I've already said this. I don't believe it's my fan base. I do believe that it is the group of trolls that were harassing me only a week ago. Um, that still doesn't make it better. The reason they're harassing her is because they obviously saw my video and thought that it would be fun to go harass her. I I won't I obviously won't be uploading any more videos about her after this one. Um because she really doesn't deserve all the threats and um obviously this has caused her a lot of trauma and it's made her feel extremely unsafe. And I'm sorry that I made that I made you feel like you couldn't vent. I just didn't want you copying off my personal vents. But I am genuinely sorry that I didn't just upload one but two videos about you. Clearly this has caused you more trouble than it needed to. And I'm really sorry. I'm just trying to own my shit like a lot of people are telling me to do. And honestly, this does need to end. I'm not making this apology video to get my ass out of the shit. I'm making it because it has gone too far. And Kamiko really doesn't deserve this.